Hey, if I could share the very secret with you that's helped me to stay healthy and well without going to a Western medicine doctor for being sick for 36 some odd years now, uh, I didn't miss a day of high school. And I'm saying that because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you one of my top secret tools that I share with my high performers. Now this is important because look, if your gut health is off, it's gonna cost you. It's gonna cost you a lot because that's where 80% of your immune system is. That's where 80% of your feel-good hormones are. There's some interesting things and information coming out about parasites. Parasites actually have their own way of thinking, which means if you find yourself, here's a question for you. Do you find yourself having odd cravings when you know it's not the best thing for you to eat? And it's almost like someone just flips a switch and you say, okay, well, I'm gonna go over there and have some and not even think twice about it and then just be upset with yourself after that and the day after that because you did? You can relate to that I understand completely and hey and what I'm inviting you to consider is what I'm gonna share with you right now is a simple thing that you can add to your daily nutrition program very inexpensive there's a lot of different ones but I'm gonna show you the basics right so if you're open-minded to that just comment I'm open-minded and here we go in no particular order all down here is sauerkraut these are all different sauerkrauts like matter of fact kimchi right here kimchi is used in the Korean government, this is actually studies done on this, where they've actually given this to their government workers and they were actually able to knock off the bird flu with it. Now I say that because there's a lot of super potent things in it. There's ginger, there's garlic, there's all kinds of really potent antioxidant boosters. And here's the important part. This stuff right here, sauerkraut, has gut health in there. It's a thing, it's basically fermented foods, okay? And what happens is when you eat those with your foods, it helps to culture the good bacteria in your gut. Super important. You know there's actually four pounds of gut bacteria in your body, which means that if you have 80% of them that are inaccurate or 80% of them that are bad, you're in a bad situation. You need to have about 80% good and 20% bad. And here's some of the things that I do. You can easily take a couple tablespoons of that stuff a day, but here's one of my favorites. Have you ever heard me talk about these? Good Belly Big Shot? Okay, I've had many of Austin's finest and some of the world's finest constipation patients. People with IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, you name it, I've had it. And what I found is that these things are absolutely gold. I actually reached out and created a relationship with them when I first came across their stuff because it's absolutely amazing. It has something called an LP299V, like Larry Paul 299V. What happens is, is that in Eastern, over, not in Eastern, over in Europe, they were actually doing some experimental work on this LP299V strand because it actually makes it through the digestive tract, past the stomach acids, and gets into your gut where it actually can proliferate and grow and help you out. They didn't know that at first, but they found that out, and this little bitty simple strand is crazy like I can tell you this much when I have it in the morning I can tell almost immediately that it makes a difference in my bowel movements and just my digestion so if you found that helpful please share it if you have some questions please share it if you don't mind connect with me on my other social media feeds please do that if you're on LinkedIn follow me on Facebook if you're on Facebook follow me on LinkedIn if you're on LinkedIn follow me on Instagram whatever it is that way I can connect with you and serve you lots of different information that is super potent that you can use today this information is what I've been able to stay out of the doctor's office since I didn't miss a day of high school if that gives you some feedback since then and it's only because of the things I understand and things that God has taught me over the years of being involved in the health and wellness field. And I would love to share them with you and give you some amazing tools so you can max out your life. So if you got questions, just leave them. If you don't mind, please share. And remember, if you don't make time for your wellness, you will make time for your illness. Bye.